Uh, hello and welcome to the Server of Joy. Today we're going to be looking at another mod with uh, Knowles, who should be there. Hello! And Everyone. Tom, who should be there as well. Hello! Uh, today's main one, main one, there's two, because I'm that cheeky. Uh, today's main one is the Portal mod. Uh, this is a really awesome mod, I'll get into that in a second. But first, this is my little house that I've created. Do you see anything okay. different about this? Oh, lovely. You don't see any the shelves are... here. You see any shelves? That's shit. I like this. Is, I think this yep. is awesome. There's a mod called Shelves. Uh, you click on it and you can arrange stuff in it. And you have a little shelf in your house. But that's just a small one. That's not the main one. Today's main one is the portal, as I was saying. So let me just casually come out of the Tim house. And I don't know if you've ever played Portal before. Uh, no, but I've watched a few videos. Right. The, this is the main part. There's loads of different things. I don't know if you've heard that. There's little sound effects. You hear that? No, yeah. I'll pull gun. Alright, yeah. So anyway, uh, this is like a transportation kind of device thing. So It's a portal gun. It's a portal gun, yeah. You left click to get a blue thing. And let's go over there. So right click. I don't know if you can see here, it kind of like mirrors image that will be over there. Yeah, yeah. And then you just jump in. Ooh. And you come back oh. out of it. Uh, there's loads point. of different guns. They all do exactly the same thing. It just allows you, these little stands, just allows you to have different uh, amount of portals. Because obviously if you have the same gun, uh, the colours are going to be the same. So if I now pick up this gun, you should be able to shoot another portal and another portal. And them two should still stay there. So that's what the different guns allow you to do. It just allows you to have like what nine portals. That's quite good, actually. This is pretty clever, so like I can have more than one. But yeah. yeah. Uh those are the portals. Uh portal guns. In this chest I have a chest of goodies. So let's go through all this. Uh let me uh, just long click. I'm back. I didn't see it. Go yeah. back. Oh no, I'm going back. I'm showing you in turn. You have to wait. Good. Right. First of all, you got the long full boots. Yeah, that's what I thought they were. Which, if you have a look, I do look quite trendy. But well, I'm in a bit of grass, so. Yeah, what are you standing grass for? Look at that. Oh, that's fresh. But, as you can kind of guess, uh, they help with long falls. So if you jump from a high distance, which I'm not at, it doesn't hurt. Obviously, oh, if you jump from like new skyline, anyway. it will. But That's a really pathetic jump. I don't have anywhere high to jump from. Uh, and these ones, as I've never played Portal before, but these are uh, aerial faith plates. What yeah, happens is, uh, let's just test it over. Yeah, let's test it over here. Why not? Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. What you do is you place it down, and it comes up with one of these little things. And what happens? It's gonna be quite sudden. You step on it, and you get flung. Woo! Ah! I remember them. You get flung a certain distance. Woo! Go! So what you can do... <laughs> what you can do is you can set it so you can set them in sequence as well. So, I mean, I'm just going to land a little bit more there. That was a bit over the shot. Um, you can set it in sequence so you can have... Uh, let me just turn the sound down. Loads of them over and over again. To like have a little jump kind of puzzle, so I think this would be an awesome way to create um, like an adventure map. But uh, the cool thing is that hang on, let me just destroy these. If I set it back again, I should jump from one to another. Oh, I missed it slightly. This is bad aim. Very bad aim. I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. Now I should jump from one to another. And you can, I do believe, you can set the distance by clicking on it. So you can set uh, the vertical power and the horizontal power. But as I've got that all set up, uh, I'm not going to check mess with that because I want it to still work. But the, oh, for God. Damn it. <laughs> the good thing about uh, these is that it can work with any sort of other entity item. So let me just get a uh, get a little villager. Oh god. And uh, <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Don't hide villages in the history. All these mobs. <laughs> oh yeah, damn it, I forgot about that. Uh, let me just kind of try and usher him over here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Give him a carrot. Come on. Oh, yeah, that, that was what would happen if the villagers stood on it, and I think it should come back. Oh, I thought you've stepped on it. Then. Put like loads down. One time. And they all get shot, and obviously I've, I've missed that somewhere, so they don't come back again. Just put loads down next to it, Tim. That's the one that should get blown. What's going on? Oh, yeah, I can put Are they too smart? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'll put you land in the tree. That's the uh, that's them. Uh, let me show you how a minute. Uh, uh, something you should do, Tim, is uh, put uh, two portals like above each other, so one keeps a villager keeps falling throughout that whole thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can do that, but that's really annoying if you do it yourself. Yeah. Um. Right. I don't know how a portal gun's got on my inventory, so let's just do it. Um, next ones, next things are the turrets. Uh, for some strange reason, I'm not sure why, uh, I'm just going to turn up my... I um, know, oh you might be able to sound here, I don't know. For some strange reason, two of them don't actually work. I think that's probably due to the story now in the uh, portal, but I don't know if you can hear this. Can you hear him? So, what am I uh, supposed to... <laughs> you can hear him. Little robot voice. He doesn't shoot me, but the laser follows me. I think he's like a deactive one. Yeah. And you can just like run into him to kill him. Same as this one. But I think he's he's just a nice Paul because he can just like. He's a, the deactive one doesn't do anything, and I think that's a friendly one, but don't count on that. Right. Yeah. Uh, this one is the not so friendly one. So let's. Uh... You can see the villager going in and out of the portal. Yeah, that's <laughs> These uh, shoot any um, mob, so that villager, for instance. <laughs> it, it doesn't take. It takes quite a long time because it's like really small bullets. But they speak really weirdly. I'm not entirely sure what the weird. Once again, it would probably help if I played portal. But um, yeah, those are the turrets. Uh, yeah, no, it's not good enough, isn't it? Um, right, let's go on to the next thing. Two little radios. Radios we have here, and uh, this the game brings three new music discs, I think it is, into it, and the radio. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's it. I don't know if you can hear. I think that's one of the that's soundtracks to Portal. And that gets really annoying after a while, so I'm not going to play that too often. Uh, God, there's a lot to this mod. It's a good mod, though. It'd be brilliant for an adventure map, I think. Uh, the weighted companion cubes. I don't know if you've ever seen companion cubes before. Yep. Yeah, basically it's like a friend, but it's in a block form. form. Not entirely sure why. Uh, you give it roses, and it loves you. Uh, and I think if I just pick it up again, oh, where are you going? I think I don't know how the crafting in this kind of works, but I'm just go into if I burn my weighted companion cube. Uh, and let me just cheat for a second. Yeah, I know. Inventory hack, but whatever. I need to find a jukebox, and there we go. Uh, let's put the jukebox down. I think it burns, I don't know how, into a CD. Oh. Uh, yeah, so you have a CD out of a companion cube. Uh, and... Yes, you <laughs> hear that? Oh, that's the cake is along. It's like, I think it's like one of the theme tunes to Portal. It's the end song. Is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, and I think, once again, if you burn this disc, it gives you another disc. God. I don't know why burning discs makes... Oh, I'm being pushed for something. What's happening here? <laughs> I reckon it's an angry villager that I've just shot across the... Yeah. Oh! 
<laughs> hey, stop playing music. Oh, that is, that is jazzy. Uh, but yeah, those are the, that's the music side of it. Uh, I'm getting annoyed with that now, so shut up. <laughs> Destroy it! Alright, oh, yeah, okay, we got it. Um, so that's the companion cube and jukebox side. There's another CD, I think that's the end credits to Portal 2, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, let me set the day again. God, there's a, lot, there's a lot in this thing. These ones, uh, not entirely sure. I think this would be like good for like a um, like an adventure map. This is kind of like a gate kind of system, but like it's uh, a laser. So you have a a beam emitter, which I've got in my hand here. So let's place it here, and a uh, a switch. And these are like refractors that like refracts the uh, light to a different in a different direction, or straight through it, whatever. <laughs> and these beams you can't walk through; it doesn't hurt you. It just no, oh, I kind of glitched out with that there. Um, it just you can't walk through them. So I think that'd be good if like it was be like a fence kind of thing. Not quite sure. Uh, this is the capture for the beam. Uh, so I do believe you can edit it so it can power a redstone when it hits the. Once that hits it, you can like power redstone, and on its own it can't. So you could do it so you have to get a light into the uh, collector to power like a piston door or something. I'm not sure. Uh, the same with this that I'm about to show you is. Another emitter. Where should I stick this? Yeah, let's stick it here. Um, it does basically the same thing, but instead of emitting a beam, it emits like. Oh, I forgot to. I'll just show you it. Uh, it emits like a high amount of energy. And uh, this, again, you can have like a collector for that, and it can power redstone once it's hit. But unlike the laser, this, if I set it off again, that hurts. Uh, so that can kill you if you get that wrong, and I believe it can bounce off walls. So um, that would also be good for like an adventure map. A couple more things, and then we're all good. Uh, last couple of things we have in this mod are the checkpoint cubes, which, as you guess, makes a checkpoint. And let me just grab one of these. Let's grab this thing. Uh, and a and a device, I'm not entirely sure what it's called, I think it's like, let me have a look. Material in, what was that? Anticipation grid. Uh, this kind of creates like a kind of laser kind of a beam, I suppose. You can walk through it, that's all fine. Uh, but you can't fire a portal through it. Oh, I remember that. So you can fire it here, that's all fine. Uh, but as soon as you walk through into it, the portal disappears. Uh, but you can easily, well, I suppose you can kind of jump over. No, you fail. <laughs> I can just cheat and go round. But I mean, if there was like a blocked off entrance, uh, the only way you could, you have to portal up somewhere. Uh, but stepping through this obviously destroys the um, the portal. So once again be very good for doing an adventure map. Uh, the last thing is the checkpoint cube. So you can set it all up so it like uh, enables a checkpoint, resets the player if you die, resets portals, everything, and triggers redstone. It then disguises itself as I think the nearest block around it. So if you're on top of stone, it will do stone. And once you get on top of it, it says checkpoint. So now, I do believe if I die... Uh, jump on the old... Just jump on this. It resets me back on the block. So once again, like a checkpoint. Uh, that's basically it for this portal mod. And it hasn't been that in depth, but there's a lot to get through. Uh, obviously, the main things being the portals. So uh, yes. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, there will be a link in the description to a video of how to set up this mod. Uh, bye, basically. Bye bye.